Okay, so another <laughs> conversation that I end up having with my clients as well. Again, it's, this is about dating and it, it baffles me. And I've made these mistakes too. So it's coming from life experience, but it's also coming from, wow, I wish somebody had told me that when I was younger. Um, and this is about choices that we make. We make choices about the food we eat every day. We make choices about the kind of car we're going to buy. We make choices about the places we live. Do I need a one bedroom, two bedroom? What's the rent like? What's the area like? You put some thought and some some um, consideration into it. But it really amazes me, even with myself. So again, I'm speaking to myself as well. Is that when we pick a mate, we don't have no requirements. Or when I ask people what their requirements are, they're very shaky. They're not very solid. And so I said, well, you know what kind of car you want. You know what kind of car payment you want. So that means you should know what kind of person you want to spend the rest of your life with. We're talking about intimate, personal relationships. And when we let anyone into our space, they have the potential to wreak havoc on our emotional lives, maybe even our financial situation. And so that's a choice that we have. If I can pick what I want to eat every day, if I can pick what kind of car I want to drive, if I can pick where I want to live, and I put thought into those things for the most part, especially buying a house and a car, because that's a used investment. It's a used investment having somebody come into your life as well. So consider that based on your situation, are you really giving it some thought? And write it down. I mean, when I'm looking for a house, looking for a car, I write things down. I talk to people. You should do the same thing for people that you are allowing into your personal intimate space. Be well. <laughs>